Good day everyone, this is Frost and this is Frost Moto. First, thank you God for allowing this to happen and second, Sir Wings, thank you for allowing me to borrow and review your Kawasaki Z1000R. So, before we begin, you know what to do. If you want motorcycle, push the subscribe button and if you want updates, push the notification bell. And intro. This is priced at 710000 What we have here is the Kawasaki Z1000R which is the super naked sports bike of the Kawasaki. So again, I know what you're thinking. You're saying that this is not the latest. So I actually did some research and watched some videos, uh, read some forums. So I believe the only thing that changed for the 2023 is the color and they added some plate, uh, plate number holder in front or above the headlight. So again, if if you think I'm wrong, just comment down, enlighten me, because I'm still learning. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the specs, uh, some details, and also to inform the uh, the viewer if you're interested in choosing the Z1000R, that this video might help you in doing that. So let's go first for the engine specs. It is equipped with 1,043cc inline four 16 valve liquid gold four stroke uh, double overhead cam and a six speed transmission so that is the engine specs and for the uh, deeper specs it has a boron stroke of 77 by 56 millimeter that provides a max power of 104.5 kw at 10,000 rpm that produces a max torque of 1100 newton meter at 7300 rpm and the compression ratio is 11.8 is to 1 so i'm gonna give you some detail about the competition of this bike maybe uh, later in this video just small glimpse so now let us go for the fuel capacity it is 17 liters fuel injected and it consumes around 13 to 16 kilometer per liter so it consumes well simply because it is an inline 4 and a 1000 cc and the reserve is around below 5 liters and for the tire sizes so let's go for the front tire it is 120 by 70 by 17 and the stock tire is don't look sports mac d21 so that kind of tire is really good for a stock because it is good in daily ride and also in minor cornering and for the rear it is 190 by 50 by 17 and the stock tire is Dunlop Sports Mac D21 so as you can see for the rear it is really big tire you can see to my hands this kind of tire is really good in cornering and in leaning because it is so wide and also the aerodynamics of this bike is not that uh, the same with the sports bike 
but it is still good in cornering. And let's continue for the brakes. So for the rear, it is 250mm single disc brake and the brand calipers are Brembo. So the Z1000 rear brake is actually more bigger compared to its competition. So for the front, it is 210mm dual disc brake and the brand of the calipers are Brembo. So actually the braking power of the Z1000 is actually good. There's no complaint or there's no um, issues about the stopping power, it is actually good, especially in cornering and sudden brakes. And for the master cylinder, it is in Nissan. So I don't know why uh, Kawasaki did not choose Brembo, but still, this kind of combination is actually very good. So now let us go for the um, suspension, which is very crispy part. And for the front suspension, it is 41mm Showa. And it provides a spring preload adjustability, compression, and rebound damping. So actually, if you compare it with the competition again, in terms of suspension, the Z1000, uh, or in other words, for its front suspension, it lacks the competition. But for the rear, this is one is really good. So it is using an Olens XTS46, and it provides a gas change, a rear shock with preload adjustability, and a rebound uh, damping. So, in terms of adjustment, especially if you're using it in a track day or daily use, if you're uh, bringing an OBR, it is very easy to change. And now for some details. So, for the side mirrors, this is stock. So, actually, the sturdiness, quality, material is actually good. 10 over 10. But for me, I will change it into bar end to make it more aggressive. Quality of grips is good. So, here's the um, turning indicators. Horn and then hazard. Here's the passing light and also the clutch lever. Actually, the clutch is very good. You can do it with two fingers for the right. Brake lever. And again, same quality of grips. Here is kill switch and ignition. So what else? So let's turn it on. So what we see here is uh, EBS and chic engine. Here's the neutral and turning indicators above. Here's the RPM 3000 and neutral or gain indicators and ODO. I mean temperature, time, uh, odometer, so is the fuel, speed, so this is the speed, so immobilizer. And if you click the select button, it will change to trip A and trip B. So here's the um, fuel consumption or average fuel consumption, so it is 13.4. The temperature of the engine, so 61 degree. It is using a semi-digital instrumental cluster, very authentic. For me, no need to change into TFT. For the features, the Z1000R is actually behind because it only has dual channel ABS, a C-slipper clutch, and a immobilizer. But still, you should also consider at the price point of 710000 if you compare it to its competition, it is much cheaper. So again, I will still choose the Z1000R because less electronics, less features, it means less error codes, and if it gets damaged it is much cheaper to fix and just to add on so the z1000 is using a sugomi style it means intense aura or energy given by a person or object of greatness felt by the viewer so actually if you're going to look at the z1000 it actually gives you aggressiveness and intensity and now for some details so for the frame it is using a twin aluminum frame very good quality very um, high grade and what else um, quality of plastic is really nice. Tank is metal, so bonus point for me. I love na uh, metal tank, so quality of plastic is actually nice. Nothing to complain. So for the headlight, same, same quality plastics, everything is okay. So this brake is actually good. So very nice. And for owner's upgrade. So first, he changed the stock clutch lever into RCB. Uh, some reason of that is maybe the comfortability of the fingers it actually depends on the user so cell phone holder tank bag or tank tank bag and tank grips so one of the nice thing about the z1000 is the design of its tank you can actually put your leg here and it will lock up so in terms of cornering or leaning you're actually safe so he turned it into a tail tidy as you can see here a dual yoshimura muffler so this is a legit muffler very nice sliders and spool so very legit uh, quality so front is sliders again and some auxiliary light for night ride and i believe that's it so everything is stuck so let us check for some uh, details so let us look what is in the inside of this one so let me get my flashlight 
So, this, you know, this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Very nice quality. Wirings are very, uh, very nice. So, actually, this Kawasaki Z1000 is made from Japan. So, this Z1000 or these Z1000 bikes are really made in Japan. So, very good quality. Very nice and detailed. So, in line 4, you can see uh, regitor guard. I forgot the owner uh, put some regitor guard. Uh, what else? I believe we are done for the owner's upgrades. So, let us back up for a few meters to appreciate the aggressiveness of the Z1000R, my dream naked bike. And for some part, let's check the foot peg. So, very nice. Stainless. So, the reason of this is actually an indicator or warning that you are in the maximum leaning corner. Slider is very nice, very stiff, good quality. So what else? So same with the right side. Foot peg is actually, I mean foot brake is actually really nice. Quality of material, Nissin, uh, legit Yoshimura muffler. Okay. And let's check the quality of key and also what is inside the seat cover. So I am only doing this alone, so it will give me a few seconds. For the quality of key, it has a chip in it, actually very high grade type of key. So it has an immobilizer, so it connects with the bike. So you cannot use any key or any duplicates. So let us open what is, and let us check what is inside the seat cover. So the keyhole is here. So again, I am doing this alone, so it will give me a few seconds because I'm doing it with one hand. Actually, uh, let's try... Okay. Okay, just a few seconds. I'm having a hard time here. So, okay, fast forward. So, this is what it looks like from the inside. You can actually put, I mean, again, guys, the quality of material is nice. The quality of wiring is very Kawasaki. So, you can actually put some ORCR or some travel files like Sir Wings did. So, for the pillion seat, here is the tools. And again, there's no space. You can actually put some minor files for you in your travel. So quality of material is actually nice. It is a rough texture. So in terms of seating, the uh, quality of foam is nice. So if you're going to do a corner, you wouldn't slide off because the material that they are using is actually rough. Very nice. Plus points. Quality of plastic is also nice. Done deal. Just some add-on, it is actually carbon. So for the latest version, for the 2023, the plate number holder is actually in the middle of the headlamp. And for the light, this is the park light, actually very nice. One thing, I mean, one nice thing about the Z1000 is how aggressive the headlight is. So you need to turn on the bike for you to see the daytime running light and also the headlight. So it has hazard, turning indicators are all LED. So for the rear, it is actually still LED. And let's go back for the front. So this is what it looks like if the turning indicators are on. So very nice, very, very detailed. And for the dimensions, so first I am around 5'11", so the seat height of the Kawasaki Z1000R is 815 millimeter, and its curb weight is 221 kilogram, and its ground clearance is 125 millimeter. So this bike is actually good around 5'5 or 5'4. It depends on how good you are in uh, keeping yourself while riding. So this is what it looks like if you are 5'11". And again, one nice thing about this one is the, and I am done uh, reviewing the uh, minor and also the major details of the Kawasaki Z1000R. And I hope that this video helped you or enlighten you to whichever bike that you prefer, especially the comfortability. You should always choose that one. So now let us have a test drive and discuss furthermore. So thank you so much and let's go. And now let us begin with the comparison to its other competition. So firstly, I have done reviewing the Yamaha MT-10, so I'm gonna put the link in the description for you to check it out. And actually, if I'm going to compare it with the Z1000 and MT-10, first is in terms of fuel consumption, the MT-10 for me is actually consumes more compared with the Z1000. And again, I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube, you can actually check it out. Z1000 versus MT-10. Um, based on what I have so the Z1000 always win. So maybe it depends on the driver, it depends on how you shift. 
depends on how you timing but again still the Kawasaki Z1000 R is in its category so I'm not uh, I'm trying to argue with anyone I'm just only implying my own opinion and if you compare it with the Suzuki GX S S1000 another is the Honda CBR 1000 R first is the CC so the Suzuki is at 999cc while the CBR is at 998cc so in terms of displacement displacement the Z1000 is far more higher so for the engine type uh, actually um, the Suzuki is using a traverse in a uh, transverse inline four cylinder ride by wire with the electronic throttle control while the uh, Z1000 is at its basic um, it does not have any deeper uh, features while the CBR1000 uh, R is actually using uh, the same with the Z1000 R but the engine quality I mean the engine type of the MT10 is transverse inline 4 cylinder or cruise plane so what else to my knowledge so in terms of horsepower, I believe the MT10 is far greater uh, with the other competition because it has 158 horsepower. So and it's kind of good if you compare it with other brands. And what else? In terms of torque, the only one that is higher is, I mean it's not higher but it is actually the same. So Z1000 is at 111 newton meter same with the 10 while the Honda CBR is at 104 and the ZXS S1000 is at 106 so in terms of newton meter the Z1000 and the 10 are the same but still it also matters your weight your driving style so what else okay so clutch type um, the GXSS I believe it has a quick shifter and the MT10 has a built-in quick shifter same with everyone is the same as the sleeper clutch but I think actually in Honda it is really known that the quick shifter is optional but in terms of if you're looking for features then go with the MT10 or the Suzuki okay so the bore and stroke as I believe is far greater or um, far bigger compared with the others because it is up I think it's around 79 millimeter if I'm not mistaken so I think I'm gonna review my I'm going to review my review on it maybe in the future so again what else so in terms of weight the Z1000R is actually heavier than the Paul it is around 221 kilogram compared with the MT10 and also the GXS 1000 is up I think 240 and the Intel is around 212 or 211 but also for the fuel liters the same the uh, GXS is around 18 or 19 uh, uh, fuel liters if I'm not mistaken again so I think that's it okay let's go at um, the last one I think uh, in, the, in the frame uh, in the frame, I think, I, I think the MT10 is using a perimeter frame, if I'm not mistaken again, while the uh, the FCBR 1000R is actually using a mono backbone steel aluminum, while the Suzuki is using a twin spar aluminum frame, while the uh, Z1000R is using a twin tube aluminum frame. But if you're going to ask me which frame do I prefer, uh, I think I prefer with the it's either perimeter frame or the twin tube aluminum frame. So everything has LED. I'm the same with everyone. So that's it. Okay. And let us enjoy a few seconds with the Z1000R. Okay, listen well.
wondering why the check engine is on. The owner said that is a, it, it is an auto sensor uh, error, so I can actually change that by uh, removing the error or going to the nearest Kawasaki in your area. So that it, that's it. If you like what I have done, please like and subscribe. And if you're on motorcycle, push the subscribe button. If you want updates, push the notification bell. Thank you so much. God bless and take care. Thank you.